All right, people. Welcome back to the live stream, the Rhyme and Why uh, live stream. We are joined by Omega once again. Hi, Omega Kios here again. Yep, in 2016, so we're going to try to start the year off at least semi right. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we, so far in the live stream, it's been pretty successful. We've seen a ton of uh, different decks here, but uh, one deck that has been on here in Vitamin Y for like actually since the beginning, I think it was actually one of the original decks on the Vitamin Y lineup, well, Vitamin Y Forever lineup. Uh, Ubox Seas really didn't get touched. Yeah, I got, it, it was like all the way at the bottom here, and I just kind of forgot about it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, yeah, I even have new Ubox Seas, so that's messed up. Ubox Seas is like, hey, what about me? So I was like, oh, let me go ahead and look at this deck, went to it, and I was like, oh, it still has three Rota. Yeah, I haven't touched this deck in a cool minute, people. So I guess we can try this out a little bit. Um, yeah. There was something in here. I, I, oh, there was Exiton in here. I was like, oh, there's something in here I had to take out, there's Exiton in here. <laughs> The next time I was in here, I took him out, and I went ahead and put in this spider because I want to try him out. Because when I saw this card, I was like, wow, he's pretty good. I don't really like the other spider. It's just a kind of defensive one. It doesn't gain the juicy stats like this one. But this one's just like, wow. So once you control, gain attack and defense equal to the difference between your life points and your opponent. So whether I'm getting my butt kicked or I'm kicking my opponent's butt, you know, there'll be nice gaps. Like, in just like Wyvern, except this is where Wyvern gains the boost when I'm above, but then drops when I'm below. But this is just blinking me different, so this can come out pretty strong. Uh, it explains why it has a zero attack and defense, because it's just going to gain uh, some mad attack off its own effect. That's called like, mm -hmm. Xematero, so it's going to damage your opponent each time they special summon monster and monsters. So it makes the gap wider, hopefully, or shorter, depending on who's, uh, who's winning and who's losing. Then, once per you attack the material from this card, destroy all face up monster opponent controls the attack less than or equal to this card. So, yeah, not only I, I do I, if I have, like, a big old gap and I'm ahead of you, but then I get a bonus of just being able to wipe all your monsters that have attack less than this card and then hit you for more damage and then make the gap bigger and then finish you off. And this is all monsters I control, not just Ancient Sacred Weapon, but Spider itself and all the other monsters. So, not bad, not bad. So, uh, we're going to try this out, and hopefully. I know yeah, the hopefully your, your plans run, like, really bad again. Really, really bad decks against this. Lol. Yeah, because... <laughs> Well, see, it's always had the struggle of just losing because uh, it just takes so much setup. Like I had, to, I got to get the monsters in the graveyard. I had to get the right uh, cards to to uh, revive and have the correct levels. It's it's really it's just a really difficult. Yeah, path. and you don't run any defensive back as well to like uh, slow your opponent down. Yep. So hopefully I can pull this off. And it's not even looking good for this deck. I mean, just like supervised. I mean, I only have one rota. Supervised hasn't been working out so hot either since it's got uh, hit with rota to one. So. Hopefully, I'll do okay. I got the tomato. So, if he kills the tomato, I can summon arm again, and I have the limit reverse place and all that. I think I'll maybe send some of these just to bait. Yeah. So, yeah, why not? Uh, as soon as possible, I need to send you Bell to the graveyard. I need to send Level Eater to the graveyard. Because generally, I have a lot of level fours. That way, I'll have one ton of level four, and I can start using my message in a bottle. So, uh, yeah. Put 77 in. Who, who's number 77? It's another spider. I don't like him. He's not good. Yeah. Fuck. You're gonna overlay over the, the other spider, pretty much. What's up, y'all? I said, I swear to God, I hate that spider. I saw the other spider. I was like, oh, eh. Papa, so I'm gonna get <laughs> oh, already. Man. I'm gonna get freaking destroyed. <laughs> Remember, I'm using the tier freaking. This is even tier 69, like super. This is like tier freaking 169. <laughs> And I'm going against like an like, arguably tier two deck, so this should yeah, be tier two deck definitely. <laughs> yeah, so I'll go ahead and do the bear, and then get your uh, your toy vendor, and pitch the wings, and then just go super plus, and then you fuse. Need the fluffy wings that would make the deck so much better. Mm -hmm. I made the toy vendor actually playable. Yep. So. I mean, like I said, the one time we tried to try the engine, I wouldn't try the engine. Just put in Fluffle with its Fluffles thing. You don't need to go to that extreme. Wow, it seems not going to discard wings. That's uh, on your all. Okay, brilliant fusion. Huh. I guess Fluffles can play that for... And maybe he's actually playing the Performage engine, and he, the uh, fusion monster gives him additional normal summon, so that's not bad. Yeah, not terrible, but... I would just run it pure. No oh, need to like, run more wings, wings, right? Yep. Yep. Foolish the wings, banish the bear, banish the wings, pop, draw, search, like, yep. 
I'm just worried about getting uh, wrecked by Tiger right now. Tiger would just... His duel would be over before it even began. Oh, trick So I guess it on stem and that. Right. I'm not sure why. So you don't want his effect to revive him back and get you like, fuck it, I'll revive him with Norton. Okay. <laughs> so do I have an infinity in my future? Hello. <laughs> Possibly. I mean, I, I, I guess. On that I guess. Right I mean, it would have been the same result anyway. She would have paid the thousand revived and then Insta Fusion summoned Norden, but I guess then you could have summoned your uh, bear back at least. Like, I guess you want to attack Venixie? I'm still trying to figure this out. So yeah, probably. I'm gonna get a night. I'm gonna get a night effect. Let's drop you Bell. Could summon you Bell yourself, but I got the limit reverse, so I'll have to do the limit reverse during the end phase. I have a pretty good feeling that he's either going to Infinity Me or something along those lines, or maybe 101 Castell. No, no. It just looks like he's going to Ptolemyos. Yep, seems like it. Yep. Infinity's going <clears throat> to get released very soon. Yep, no, no, that'll be fun. Yep. Yeah, very fun. <laughs> go ahead and, we can go ahead and ban him now. If you want to play your Cyber Dragon Dino Miss deck and make Infinity more power to you, but nah, we don't we don't need Ptolemyos in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh. And now yeah, I'm it's fucked. pretty broken. Now I'm fucked. If you want to rank up into something, you have to use a rank magic for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something along those lines. You shouldn't just every single deck that can go into uh, rank fours. With into Ptolemyos with three materials couldn't have access to Infinity. It's just not fair. It's, it's, it's not, so. Yeah. I'll look at it again, but when I first saw it, I wasn't impressed by it, but I'll look at it again. So, yeah, I'm pretty fucked. <laughs> I can activate Lemon Race, but I know he's not going to let me get away with that. And even if he does, then he'll just negate my Ubel next turn. Like, either way, I'm pretty fucked. I got two in reverses. And I'm still pretty fucked. <laughs> still pretty fucked. I was, yeah, hoping to have, I was hoping to have a good duel, not a fucking Saki Infinity duel. Even Fluffles. I'd rather duel against Fluffles than fucking Infinity. But hey, I don't think it even needs Fluffle. I think it's just a rank 4 that we've the Fluffle engine put in. You think so? Yeah, yeah it's looking like it. and uh, Summer Monk and all that stuff. Yeah, it's looking like it. Yeah, we star ourselves as well, so yeah. Yep. It's the rank four engine of infinity dot deck. <laughs> so this deck will go to nothing when Patola Mouse gets banned. That that should be fun to look at. Mm-hmm. Still don't know how I'm gonna get out of this situation. Yeah, I'm I think this life pretty much over. Yeah. You really know. can't do your your regular you build a limiter verse because infinity can just negate both both. Can handle the one this turn, and then the next turn I can. I mean, I can still play another one, but then as soon as I turn defense activate, you both have to just negate anyway. So, still yep. pretty fucked. All right. And Christian. Oh well. yeah, and just Christian. Just gonna fucking fuck me real good. What is Christian? How many fairies? Four fairy types. There's four fairy yeah, types. Four. Yeah, oh, fuck fucking Norden's a fairy, course. of course. And Norden is also a fairy. Oh my god, fuck you, Norden. I'm so <laughs> sick and tired of your shit. I swear, yeah, this Norden guy proves that some shit should be handled. Like, you should be banned. You should be limited. Like, it's fucking you, Yeah, at least. Because it's just like, hey, <laughs> summon a level 4, then Norden summon, which is another 4, which will summon you a level 4 of Gregor. There's three level 4s right there. <laughs> It's like, wow, Patola Miles, that was, that was easy. Let me go ahead and look at that spider again. Still, uh, 
number 77. Nothing's pretty good. Using rank 10s or 11 Dark Sea Monsters, so I guess that would just be the spider, because everybody else is yep. Earth. So just the other spider, okay. Let's turn to need Let's turn, except the turn is kind of summoned. Okay, and catch two things. Venice is main special summon monster to control this. Wait, this wasn't the other spider. Not this spider, the other spider. The 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 spider that was like a mirror version of this one. What's that spider? I don't remember the name, to be honest. That, that was, was not what I was talking about. I wasn't talking about this spider. I was talking about another spider. God, that thing looks okay. creepy. God. I, th I think it was like, I want to say like rank 11. It, yes, it was rank 11, for sure. Yeah, this is the spider I don't like. This one. It doesn't, it's not as good as this one. Even though it's like a friggin' mirror and a, 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 just a paint job. I'm like, good job. Good job. <laughs> it's a very similar card. It doesn't have more to do with defense. It's like, meh. You know, this card's defense, total of XC monsters you control times 200. Meh. Some spell or trap is activated, you inflict 600. Meh. And then you wipe for defense instead of attack. Doesn't gain the the juicy bonus of the attack uh, the life point difference that I would like with this card. Really? It does gain, actually, it does gain. You read the first sentence of the other spider. What do you mean it does gain? What it gains the effect? It has the same first effect, I think. At the number already eighty something, eighty four, I think. Yeah. Card XC on a rank. Eight, nine, or ten dark monster. Oh, card that actually, defense. it doesn't. Yeah, right. No, nope, just defense. See, like this card is the one I don't like. Okay, then we'll look at seventy-seven again. It's in a rank ten or eleven dark sea monster controlling sea materials. All right, let's turn. Let's turn seven. You can attach two materials on this card. Finish as many special monsters you put in controls. If you do attach one to the sea material, oh, that's actually pretty good. This card plays some card. Be sure about our card. I can attach one sea material instead. Not bad. Not bad. And probably put one in here. Probably take out. Nice, that might be pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll try it if I can ever summon it. I, I just got absolutely wrecked. Like, a guy was like, "Hey, you know, it's 2016. This is what you're getting. <laughs> this is Yu-Gi-Oh." <laughs> I hope nothing comes out soon. I, I hope that I hope that Konami just cancels freaking Breaker of Meta. Like, it never comes out. <laughs> Not going to happen, it's the will be their money set. Yep. I'm going to make a lot of money from that. On the channel or with friends. No more locals, no more competitive, no more nothing. I, I can't. I can't. And that's how the majority of people feel. <laughs> I guess people in your area are, are very competitive. Uh, Depends. Oh. It really depends. There are some locals where it's just a whole bunch of scrubs, and there's other locals where there's actually competitive people. So it depends on which one you go to, because it's like four in my city. I go to like the medium one. Well, when I went, the the competitive one is run by the Cali Effect, so I'd, I'd so I'd rather not go to that one. And then the scrub one is like across town, and it's not even worth going anyway. Like you don't even get yeah, store, yeah you don't even get store credit. All you get is uh, it's packs. Like oh yeah, you won, you get like three packs of I I don't I think last time I went they weren't even like good packs. Like I think like one of the packs was like Lord of Pachyon Galaxy because I pulled a a, a spellbook of judgment. Yeah, I can do you. Actually, by Konami's uh, rules, uh, locals can't give out store credit or anything like that. If they're uh, official, of course. All right, don't miss that. Yeah, well, uh, I guess I. You know what? I guess I deserve this. We want happen on Thursday's daily duels. <laughs> Please don't infinity me. I don't want this whole every single duel on this live stream to just be everybody summon infinity. I think Dynamist is going to be pretty cheap, aside from. Yeah, you, we want that infinity in there as well, I guess. <laughs> Without it, it's, it's probably not even worth it. 
Mm-hmm. So I'll kill it, but I'll just go back to the extra deck like usual. Yep. <laughs> That's me. Uh, I mean, I guess I want to level you in the graveyard, so I guess I can just summon it and then get it wiped. Yeah, that's fine. I would not be surprised if he just go special summon the Dynamis, activate his Dynamis Rush, summon one, and go into like Infinity. At least I'm in defense mode. Infinity can't really do anything to me. He can't really kill me until uh, until Terra wipe. Yep. Oh, I almost typed effect to him. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> like effect dog, like dog. Do you even know the effect? <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? The good, one good thing about the full part at pep performance is that everything else is going to go down in price. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be pep or bust, so everything is going to go down in price. Already seen uh, Magic Specter start to drop. That's how I'm going to pick them up. Just saying, like I said, I'm, I'm not. I don't plan on spe spending another penny on this damn game. <laughs> Ah, ah, I called it. I, I was like, done with the right there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm ready for it to go for gimmick puppets since you can use one of the gimmick puppets XTs to summon it and avoid jury doll effect, then go for 77. Oh, so you just use it as a footstool for 77. So, how's that good? <laughs> you just use it as a footstool just to get access to another card. <laughs> That's like saying that freaking Nova is good because it's in between Ptolemyos and Infinity. <laughs> Can't wait for number 69, Gimmick Puppet of Dittos, to be revealed. That joke would be funny if there wasn't another Gimmick Puppet. Number 69 already exists. So. Yeah, that, yeah there's a, number 69 already exists, so. Yay, Infinity again. Can't. Yeah, two infinity totex in a row. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what what is uh number sixty nine? Isn't that uh the heraldic Her heraldic rest? Yeah. It's the heraldic beast exists most that no one runs really. Yeah, there's already a number sixty nine. Yeah, they only might run the Chaos version. Don't you dare say negate, because you can't, because I don't activate. Actually, it does activate. Actually, no, actually, the, the other effect activates, not that one. That one. Yeah. But my effect doesn't go off, because I have to be in attack position, so... How's the Omega over here trying to tell me how to fucking play you, but hello? <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, well, I mean, I could go message in a bottle, but I don't have any of my fucking uh, uh, modulators. None of them. <laughs> yep. That's the problem. This deck, you need uh, those cards, otherwise mm -hmm. you can't even do anything. Yep. So, message in a bottle. That's, that's cute. <laughs> oh, I, can't, I can't do anything. I guess I can just let him kill Infinity. With, I mean, kill Terra with Infinity. And I'll summon... Ultra Nightmare, of course, in defense mode. And then just sit there, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's the best I can do until he figures out some way of getting around Ultra Nightmare. Then I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, I really nothing to do. And you'll be like, detach, negate. Like, all right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Uh, where are you? There you are. So we need defense. And this deck is mostly... Mostly fives. And some fours. Yep. So... 
Maybe Volcasaurus if he can pull off if he plays it. Oh yeah, it not reload. I love this card. <laughs> I don't fun. think it's that. Oh yo 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 yo. All right. Oh, if you find that one your pendulums in your hand, you don't like you draw like random cards. You... I don't think it's that great. To be honest. Not all the dynamics are created equal, especially the level four. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Like one is good and the other two are like bleh. So you can just put them back in for more of your fives, then sure. Ah, I'm thinking about it, but do I really want to? But some in here. No point. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Chain. Yes. yes, I do. Because I can actually get rid of the infinity this way. Oh, that's good. Sure. Or I can get a gate out of him. I can see there are. See there are. Because I would have summoned, I would have had Terror and Ultimate Nightmare. I would have made Ultimate Nightmare go for Infinity. Of course, he wouldn't gate me, but then Terror would wipe it during the end phase. So, but nah, he stopped that play. I guess he's too far ahead. He's like, I don't want to deal with Evel again, again, again. I'd rather just have Infinity and play Infinity and win. <laughs> Hopefully, my next opponent is an Infinity dot deck. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> like. It's too much for that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess tries to pendle someone. No, I guess he's just just using his effect to destroy her. I mean, this to get another surge. Now he can't even pendle summon his level his uh, level five monsters back. Like, yeah, I can't really. Oh, okay, yeah, I went down this card for me, and yeah, so you destroy it with him. I, I would run him if he was, if his scale was higher, but he's only he's only five. So now you can't even pin, you can't even pin some of your fives back. Like, wait, what happened to charge? No idea. It still stays there. Still stays there. Please, and this and this is one of the reasons why I just stopped playing this deck. This is one of the reasons. Oh, and there's nothing I need to foolish right now. Right now, anyway. I guess you really have to stall and hope for the best. <laughs> I have that time to stall. If I stall too long, he'll summon his two level four. Things in XC. And then makes Costello. Mm hmm. So I'm on the clock. Mm -hmm. Yep, but there's really not anything you, you can do at this point. I can attack with Ultimate Nightmare. He'll negate me, of course. Yep. I can Foolish send Phantom of Chaos. Mass Chameleon summon Phantom Chaos and go into an XC or a or a uh... oh well you don't even have any level eights in there. I know why the fuck don't I have any level eights in there? <laughs> no. See, this is the problem when I don't pay attention to fucking shit. I haven't played this deck in like fucking forever, so yeah. I guess it would be Castell, even though I'd hate to put that shit back, but I'm assuming that he's running multiple infinities. Can't get Yeah, more than like that. No the two cards in the hand, so it just comes down to a set card. Yeah, I think that's a fine play. Take some damage, but it has to be done. So I can use my effect. You're gonna be like negate. Then I crash into you. No, because I attack, I take nothing, and you use your attack and get me, and I just die. So. Yes, you get destroyed. So. That's fine. Uh, it's times like this, I wish I had Exiton. Not yeah, I guess. Not even a threat, so. It definitely helps you to come back. No, mm -hmm. there's not really any card that can do that. In some ways, it's good, but in some ways, it's kind of bad as well. 
Like, I don't even know what's up with some of the cards in here. Do you even have any level three most in with zero defense? Like, yeah. what was, I don't even remember what the hell I was doing with that extra deck. It has been such a long time since I touched that fucking extra deck that I don't even know what the hell they're doing in there. Because I really don't see any way how I made that. So I guess maybe it was a leftover from what I was doing with the deck before. I don't remember. I really don't. No problem. Just say if you do not see someone this turn after someone else's turn, all right. Yeah, that's what they're not gonna do. I mean, I could mask Chameleon and do all that play, but Infinity's not even a threat anymore. Really? Yeah, right now it's really not. Really not. And I want to give him a monster he can run over Patera. I'm just afraid that he'll end up killing me, but I don't, really don't see how in this duel. All he has is just two Pateras in hand. But no, I'm okay for right now. I'll take 21, but. Can't Pendrum summon because Luster. That's some more back row. I'm assuming some Patera. Okay, activate it again. Use Slayer effect. I mean, use Luster effect. Pop him again. Get another search. Yep. Yeah, probably. Like I said, if he was like skill seven, then hell yeah, would you would run him. But no, with being five, you can't summon some of your fight back. So there's no point in summoning him. Same thing with Cedric. She's a seven, so you can Pendrum summon off her, but you can't summon her back because the lowest you have is three. So. Well, she's an extra, she's just kind of stuck. Yeah, like <laughs> there's not any consistent way to destroy it either. Mm -hmm. You're just kind of, just kind of stuck with it. The only way to do that is wavering, guys, but mm -hmm. it's only three cards. So. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's the oh, of the God. I completely fucking forgot about that. I completely and utterly forgot about it. Yeah, that. probably should have cast that. Yeah, I probably should have cast that, Daniel. Like, I'm an idiot. I, I, I forgot that Infinity does. I'm like, Finny's not a threat. He can't get any more extreme materials. He's, he's done. He's done. Like, how did I forget about that? I'm a fucking idiot. And I'm going to get fucking. Oh, I was going to get wrecked anyway. I'm assuming the back row is definitely something to stop me, whether it be fucking uh, <laughs> Solemn Strike or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm going to get wrecked. Oh, that's game. Yay, I lost to Infinity again. What a fun live stream. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and admit defeat. Yeah, there's no point in continuing. Yeah. <sighs> so this deck is just... No, it was already not that great before, but now it's completely power creeped to yeah. Oblivion. Completely mm -hmm. power creeped and just takes too much setup. It's just not worth the trouble. <laughs> On paper, this looks okay. It's a decent Toshman deck. <laughs> ah, sure. Okay, let's use this. Hello. <laughs> Loss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would have been nice. That was my bad. I have no idea what's up with that. Uh, not on here. <laughs> not on the end. <laughs> Nothing you can do is just be the bigger man and ignore them. <laughs> mm. I have so much, so many monsters to send. <laughs> this is how I open. Like, all right, this should be fun. Wow, it's lights ones. Hey. That lights one is Minerva, probably. <laughs> probably. Maybe. Certainly, a couple cards that that deck has run doesn't run honest. Well, some too. Really? It depends. Well, that works. Hmm. Thinking about doing something crazy. 
I think about being Dark Reffer than having Dark Reffer pitch the Emperor because I have Call in Roar to summon back from the graveyard next turn. Yep. Instead of going the Armageddon Knight route. At least Dark, Dark Reffer's a 17 beater instead. I'm going I was just like, wow. <laughs> Got wrecked. <laughs> you. And, hmm. I guess then Eris. Eris will still get her effect. Yeah, it's pretty good idea. Just who do I want to search? <laughs> Calgary's not bad. Another Roar is not bad either. Or another Emperor. Hmm. I'm just gonna send you. You're gonna get your effect, but who do I want? Hmm. Hmm. That's a tough one. I get a command. Probably cover it because you have falling down. Oh yeah, that's true. Good point. Good point. You make a good point. All right. Go ahead and pack into that Ryko or trick. No, Gardner. Hello, I what is like that? Classic place on that, not that. I mean, I don't know. Well, this duel should be fun. And by fun, I mean I'm probably going to get sacked with JD, so not that fun. <laughs> it looks like it's it's Light Thorn, so who doesn't love JD? At least there's no priority, so when well, no, someone's on JD and Toronto, it's gone. I was, I was thinking that Lila's going to hit the field. I forgot it wasn't equipped. I should have summoned Emperor. And just put it on top. Wow. So put it on top, and then here comes fucking. And we also move it that tank as a Oh my god, I hate that card so much. <laughs> I think it was just created to, uh, yeah, triple the Dragon Rollers. <laughs> Fuck you. You can search out your Chalant Dragon without Eclipse Viper. What's up, Adam? I'm gonna summon the Emperor back. No, 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 That, yeah, let, let, let her die. If you let her die, you can summon JD next turn. Wow. You must really want I to... I can just fun. use the effect next turn anyway. Yeah, so you really want to just... And get some more mills. Mm-hmm. I kind of want her to die. Because she's... Is it a monster or is it a card? You could target one monster your opponent controls and show that target. Oh. Oh, if that's what you want to do, you can have that. Don't even want I'm at. Because I'm going to turn to your JD anyway. You go tribute and then pop and then mill. Is it tribute pop mill? Yeah, it's tribute pop mill. Yep. Oh, I'm okay for right now. Save my falling down in my cavalry for that JD that I'm gonna steal from you. Unless you OTK me, FTK me, then, um, then yeah. But I at least want to get a JD out of you. Now, if you have multiple JDs, JD, JD, you know, at least you banish your dark, so I don't have to worry about BLS. Unless you mill another dark, in which case then. It's fucked my luck. <laughs> sure. Good enough for me. One, two, three, and then a fourth. Need a milk. Yep. And of course. Wow, what a good meal. Ah. <sighs> You gonna use it, or are you just gonna leave it in there? Now he wants to summon JD. Oh, 
Uh, no priority. <laughs> Emperor, just in case he has multiple JD. So that's one down. Two more to go, I'm assuming. Wow, so it is just fucking clown blade fucking bite swords. Yay. Clown blade light swords. <laughs> oh, this matchup is so bad. Next thing I want to even touch the thousand blades just because I have like no way of dealing with anything right now. <sighs> Summon the Emperor. Or can banish fucking kill him, then he'll summon both of them back. <sighs> I, I really don't have anything. Oh my god. I don't have anything. I really don't. Summon Emperor. Attacking to you. Trick Clown effect. Thousand Blade effect. And I can banish and then pop the Trick Clown. That wouldn't be a terrible play. And I'd just be right back where mm, I'm yeah. at. I'd literally just be right back where, I, where I'm at right now. Except he paid a thousand life points and I'm down a monster. <laughs> I can't down a card my him, so... Man, this sucks. I think I might just set the roar and pass. There's really no point in dropping Emperor right now. Oh, I'm okay. Why am I having such a hard time in this duel? Well, Bitcoin Glide as well. All right. <laughs> I think you are pretty much dead. <laughs> yep, there comes JD again. Wait, don't you get two? And I don't know how many. Discard your entire hand, then for each card you discarded, this graveyard, add one light light monster from your graveyard to your hand. You yeah, discard two, so I should yeah. get two. You should get two. Ah. Well, it's too late already. Yep. The game state is already ruined. <laughs> it's already ruined. <laughs> Does that mean I win? <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. What's so good about it? I'm I'm not impressed. It's just a light sworn deck. I mean, come on, you see Garden Necrogana right here, and it's a good light sworn deck. It's just a basic light sworn deck with well, yeah, it's definitely not the mainstream one then with Minerva. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's the best variant currently. Which doesn't even run on a something for some reason. I'm like this, I wish I had you bell in the graveyard. Instead I might as well summon him and make it and make him summon JD and stuff. Hopefully I can pull the JD out of him. When did he get clown effect? Didn't he mill clown oh did he just detach it? Yep. Because you just attached it. Oh my god, I'm tired of all this rank 4 shit. <sighs> rank 4s are literally running Yu-Gi-Oh. That's game. Yep, that's game. Summon JD, attack, 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 attack. That's game. You got it. I had a plan. I just didn't realize that you didn't do the trick clown thousand blade fucking clown blade engine. That's game. You got it. Yeah, game over. <sighs> I had a play too. I was, I was hoping to drag out that JD with the wipe, and then I was going to take it, but... <sighs> if I can get one win in my fucking two-hour live stream, I'd be happy. Like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you bell is not that great. Especially Nothing in is that I'm playing. Nothing is that great that I'm playing right now. Sitting here trying to play fucking tier sixty nine decks against fucking at least tier tier three. I'm mean, getting wrecked by fucking tier three, so that's fun. <laughs> rank four destroyed fucking Yu Gi Oh. Like rank four is ridiculous. Hmm. 
It's not a terrible hand. It's actually pretty good. A lot of, a lot of this. <laughs> I also think crank four star prom, but some go to the extreme. That some even want uh, number one one band lol. <laughs> no, not that extreme. Just you know, their most their most accessible uh, rank in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh. And there's just so many things that promote it. Thousand like Trick Clown, Hat Trick, or Damage. There's just so many things. Pendulum Forge. So many things. Like, and the last thing they need to do is have access to Infinity because of Ptolemyos. Like, that's the last thing. Yeah, Infinity is definitely the biggest problem currently. Mm -hmm. Norden. What about him? Yeah, Norden as well, but. Uh, right now, uh, I don't like it hasn't, hasn't been doing as much as expected, but with Infinity, it's definitely going to be a problem. And of course, the Solemn Strike as well. Yep. That's Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Should be fun. To be fun on the bun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why anyone would enjoy a playing competitive at this point compared to Yu-Gi-Oh. It's the tryhards. Just the people who, no matter how expensive everything is, they're going to get the. And it's not like the, even the game will be skillful because it's just who goes who goes first and makes the combo that one wins pretty much. Yep. Use it. Go ahead and type it in now. He's my well you you can't get over my Zen Ming's booty. <sighs> and Demion. Alright. That was well counters out the ass for everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is your effect or you want to leave it alone? I'm fine either way, really. Sure. Yay, Terror. Ah, I love when that happens. <laughs> Thank you for sharing my background for me. <laughs> Now what? I got to do with terror and Zen mains and all this good stuff. Yep. Probably get more into the duel next turn. More well, chain in a shot. <laughs> wow. Okay. Isn't it every time you activate a spell card? Okay. Yes. I, hit. I wonder if I can. Alright, so each player must pay 500 light points per normal summon, special summon, set, or activating cards from their respective hands. God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh, that sounds painful. <laughs> I mean, I know what I want to do this turn. Does uh, Zen Mains go off during the same end phase that it detached? Yep. So if I go, when I go Terra Wipe and I go Effect and then I pop. With Zen Mains? Yes. Okay. At least should work that way. So I'm gonna go summon them again. I of course take my 500. It's fine. You can have that. I'm what I'm mad at. Because it seems like you're gonna be playing more cards from your hand than me. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and search for uh, Emperor. Then when I detach, I can detach Fiendish Rhino. Wait, will Fiendish Rhino make Zen mains and all that mistiming, or no? Mm, depends on the card text. Once you turn during, during the end phase, if this card was used this turn, target one card and so that's a mandatory effect, so that would be channeling yep. one, and this card says if. So no, nothing misses timing. Yep. Okay. So then I can detach Phoenix Rando, Phoenix, Phoenix Rando, hello? Phoenix Rhino. Rhino can go ahead and send Eris, and Eris can search me for whatever. <laughs> And then next turn I can go summon Emperor, Emperor Pop Terror by banishing, and I'll uh, Ultimate Nightmare. 
I don't have to worry about wiping as much if I choose to do that. I might I might wait a turn or two. So I'll go ahead and pay that. I only get the effect of Aeros once per turn, don't I? Yes, only once per turn. Yep, so not sending Aeros. Shouldn't have done that. Ah, that was dumb. I did. I did pay. You don't see that fucking 500 right there? Eight five hundred. <laughs> I paid five hundred, then I said effect, because I normal summoned a monster from my hand. I did pay. I wish I had some freaking revival. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna send Eris now and then I'm not gonna detach Eris. I mean Rhino, I'm gonna detach to our guide. Yeah, because I got I got two turns before I really commit. <sighs> I kinda wanna set the roar. Yeah, I kinda wanna set the roar, so I guess I'll go ahead and pay the five hundred again. That's gonna get kinda annoying, but it's not too terrible. And uh I'm good for now. Terrific. Guide. Your breaker. So I know one of the cards in your hands obviously spelled power grass. Uh, the question is, should I pop? I guess no, because I kind of want you to get burned by chain energy too, because I'm not really going to be doing much next turn. Since I'm not going to be doing much next turn, I'll pop your back row. Show your back row for me, please. Uh, is that a fact? Did Zem or Zem? Then. Wow. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, wow. Or Dela Travel. This guy's seriously trying to be a butt. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Old school and stuff. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's in on the monster that sends the Synod out a special summon, right? Yep. If he's running it. I kind of have a feeling that Especially with Ordeal of Travel Lure and Chain Energy, I'm not playing a Spellcaster deck that runs counters so yet. Uh, that counter burn deck. What do you think? Yeah, it might be. Hmm. I didn't do much either. <laughs> oh, falling down. It's not bad. It's just. I'm clearly going to get to burn decks so when we get burned some more. Uh, I'm paying 500s and shit like that. Like, I'm just asking to get burned out, burnt out. Mm. Uh, I guess I can get it in with Zen Mains. Since it seems like he doesn't want to do anything. Yep. Well. I'll get as much damage as I can. Go ahead and start playing the blocking cards. Pop that chain energy for me, and I will go ahead and send Eris. And Eris will go ahead and get me Emperor. Sound effect. Yep, there's some crazy shit in Yu Gi Oh! Yet still, it seems like every year gets worse and worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, that would seem like it. <laughs> like, I don't know, if the 2016 is going to summon Infinity and drop multiple notices and shit, then I don't even want to see freaking uh, 2017. Like, I don't even want to see it. 
It's probably just gonna be like activate card, I win. <laughs> well, let's hope for not. <laughs> wow, another chain energy. I need to have 17 arc 5 ends, and we have no idea what comes after that. Oh shit, he's actually gonna summon a demon. I was wondering if he was gonna pull that off. Not that I'm too afraid. I mean, what does he like get a monster from the graveyard or something? Because if Arc 5 is the last animal service, then the game is also going to end, probably. Yep. And that's what I'm worried about. Let's um, this card. Talk about one here. Small cards in your graveyard. Another chain energy. Okay. And let's see. The target card on the field. Let me the target. I'm assuming that you're going to try to get rid of my tear, which would actually be fine for me. I'm tired of dealing with Tay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna handle Tay anyway. So. Yep, it's fine. He's probably much better. I'm gonna let most notes on the special summoner set monsters from their hand. All right, I'm summoning from the deck. So. The effects once per turn. Yeah, it's once per turn. So, I'll be killing that Endymion next turn. Adam, that's not the reason. What did you do? I wasn't even paying attention. What did you do? Oh, he's just attacking. He's just attacking. Yep. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Adam, that's not... Why, why do we want to not call Vime Y? Because it mends you bell with other decks like you're mixing medicines. It's called Vime Y because it's your daily supply of you bell, or well, it used to be. <laughs> Oh, two chain energy now, all of us. I oh, know. Now I gotta pay a thousand. I guess, I guess two all three. That is two OP. Well, and, and, and I think to notice has like 60 cards in the deck, I think. Mm hmm. Or at least over 50. Yeah. And I'm through all chain energy in that 60 card deck. Well. <laughs> yep. Get rid of one of them for now, and get rid of the other one next turn. I said, "I'm in control of this duel, not him." Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Right. I guess you're going to get one win at least in this live stream <laughs> against a really bad uh, spell counter deck. Yeah. I need some anger management shit. <laughs> I want you to just drop your white points to nothing. And now you're in cowboy territory. A oh, bitch. <laughs> Nowadays, many don't even run Kowai anymore. I guess don't have room for it anymore. Oh, there's so many other rank fours. Yeah. You know, it's every, it's like every single time they ban a rank four, there's always something to replace it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, if you don't do anything, that's game, because I can just summon Eris, then poke you. Or if you do do something, then I'll just attack your monster, depending on the attack of it, I'll end up killing you. So, choice is yours. <laughs> and if you play anything from your hand, you got to pay. <laughs> yeah, it has to pay. Yeah, 500. Damn. And now next time, can't do anything anyway. <laughs> wow. And <laughs> just locked themselves down. <laughs> Wow. Um, that's not how it works. That's not how it works? You can remove any number of spell counters from this card. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. can uh, remove from the fiat spell, I guess. Yeah, you can remove from the fiat spell. Hmm. Hmm. I don't even want to give you the satisfaction of that. Like. I'm just going to make sure that you absolutely lose. Wait, no. That's wrong. That's wrong. Because it'll be destroyed during the end phase. Yep. So you know what? No, I don't want to do that. I'll just take the 14. I 
I don't even want to know that. I'll game you next time. I forgot it's destroyed during the end phase. You don't have to pay if you activate from the field. No, but I gotta pay for a roar. Oh yeah, then yeah, right. <laughs> Either way, I'm paying five hundred. Uh, am I actually gonna win a duel? Show him tech directly again. But there's not much you can do because you literally can't play cards anymore. <laughs> Should I just leave it alone? <laughs> like, should I just like set a monster no, and just watch him squirm? It's uh, it was boring to anyway. Yeah, I'll put you out of misery. <laughs> yeah. I don't really want to damn the gold. Smoke a plant as well. That'd be shit. Like, your own fucking chain energy fucked you. Aren't you supposed to make a, a Ubel, what's it called, deck? Did you, did you ever finish it? You uh, Phantom Lights. Really. What? Phantom Lights, I think. Yeah. Did you ever Unless do it? Unless you mentioned it. Wait, what did you say? Mm. <laughs> so you can work on it now? <laughs> yeah, we can. All right. So, do you want me to do it, or do you want to do it? Well, you can do it, I think. Okay. I just can give advice. I guess it would be Phantom Ubel, I guess. Yep. So which Phantom Knight should I be running? Uh, all of them. Damn, all right. So yeah, because you're going to run all of Knight as well, so it works pretty well. They're all named Phantom Knight? These, yeah. These are all the monsters. All right. So, uh, go ahead and put three of you, three of you, three of you. You're gonna you're gonna run only two of the lab fours. What? Uh, only two of the lab fours. We well, probably don't oh, need to kill them. Okay. Three of you. Let me play you or Omega. Oh, you'll probably do Omega, so Omega can show me how to play this deck, because I don't really know this deck that well. Isn't, is that the only level four? Three, three. No, this guy's level four. Oh. Three, four. Let me get all the threes and fours together. I'm getting confused. The gloves. Stop. So you, you. Am I missing a monster? Yeah. Boots. Fine, whatever. I'll put it at the end, even though that's not where I put it. All right, so threes and then two of each four. Then yep, I and put the trap cards also. All right, which one, which trap cards? All of them? Uh, the uh, Shade Brigandine and uh, Tomb Shield. Which yeah, one? those, uh, yes. Oh, you use them as an XC? Is that it? Yes. Okay. How many of them? Uh, three. Three. And then, what uh, is the other one? As well. This one, the shell? Yes. Okay. It's scrape artifact, it's also really good because it can negate traps in your turn. This one? Yes. Trap your phone controls and get it. Oh, that's pretty good. So when they activate a trap card, I can chain, banish, and then negate. Yes. Okay. All right. Now what? Armageddon knights and stuff. Yep. Armageddon knights. Yeah, running dark refers or no? I guess if you want to, I guess it's not a bad idea. Discard your bell from the hand, or something. Do they miss timing if I pitch them? The graveyard effects. Or isn't the greater effect like banish? Yeah, you're banished it's oh, okay. at any point in your turn. So it really doesn't matter at all. Side. All right. Uh, 
Was that called Sword? Do I run that? Mm. Yeah, the Phantom Sword, yeah, you can run that. Run that. It's not bad at all. And of course, the, um, the finish chain type card. Uh, Phantom Sword? Yes. I spell it wrong? I think it's. Uh, let's see how it's spelled. After look, if my TN opens, I'll... I don't think I can type sword. Yeah, that's broad. It's like six pages. <laughs> <laughs> Just type a phantom. That's three pages. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, sword. Is it? Yeah. Oh, there's a yeah. freaking hyphen. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, all right. So, three Phantom Sword. And then what was, wasn't there one that, like, it's like a finished chain? Yeah, that's one Fog Blade. Fog Blade. All right. The space is already now getting really tight. <laughs> it's already getting really tight. Okay, let's see. What does this guy do? No search person. You have no trap card in your area. You can't this. this. So what is the good thing about the, the Shade Brig Brigade did then? Uh, it, because you can pick someone to make a rank four, and uh, you can search with uh, the, the one, wait, let's see. So wouldn't it be better just to run revival cards? Well, but that needs graveyard setup. I have tons I guess of that. set up. <laughs> I have the graveyard set up. That's not the problem. I just don't see the point of this card when I could just run revival and then make a rank four. Especially since I'm, I seriously, ooh, I mean, uh, especially since I doubt I will be able to uh, play the whole special summon it if I have no traps in the graveyard because I'm playing trap cards outside of uh, yeah. the knights. I guess then it's your choice. If you don't want to, you can take it out. I don't prefer it. You're good though, because you're here. You, you stun traps, and I can never complain about stopping traps. All right, is there anything that I else that I'm missing from this deck? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking mm, you can run Phantom Wing as well if you want. What the hell is Phantom Wing? It works similar to Phantom Sword, but it's a normal trap. You can chain it. Phantom Wing, you can target one monster against an attack and destroy a battle back. And if it's destroyed. Once during its turn, it can't be destroyed by battle card effect. Okay, you can banish this card regardless and target one of your Phantom Knights and your Grave Runs about to summon it. Banish it when it leaves the field. Oh, okay. It's not terrible. Oh, what the hell? My laptop is like turned off. Like this. Uh -oh. Did you like turn off or fall asleep? Like what the hell, laptop? What the hell? Turn back on. I can't how can I read the freaking comments with you off? Alright, let me just look at cards. You're good. You're like a fiendish chain, so you're good. And then what's your benefit of that? Special summon from the graveyard. Okay. When they're one else. Yeah, most of them have that effect. Alright, they all say special in the graveyard. Alright. What the frick, laptop? Turn the fuck back on. So if they all say that, then it would be beneficial to get them to the graveyard as soon as possible, right? Yep. All right, then. I guess I do want the consistency of Dark Graffer, especially since I'm not going to be milling. And you should run Burial as well and Allure. And burial and Allure? Am I missing anything else out of the Phantom Knights? Should I put this in? Do you, do you play it, Wing? Yeah, I do play one in my deck. Alright, so just play one? Yes. Okay, and I guess Regeki? Yeah, I guess. Regeki, yeah. Oh, that explains it. My battery is low on my laptop. Well, I don't have the plug. So, uh, Meg, can you do me a favor and read the comments if there are any? Okay. 
You can do it after you come and finish this deck. And then... Someone said mathematician. Uh, you tell me, Goblin Mathematician? I'm not sure if you if you're already running Convagon, yeah, I, I don't think. Yeah, I'm again there. Dark Reffer, so it doesn't seem like I really need it. And someone said Crane Crane as well, but um, since it's not a pure rank free build, it's not really that great. Okay. And you, of course, you banish your Phantom Knights as well. Okay. So, XE, I need my extra deck. Castell, of course. Uh, for the Phantom Knight monsters. I don't even know what they are. Is it just him? I could have sworn. I guess it's Dark Rebellion. Yeah, two of that part for sure. Three. Of course, Dark Rebellion. Are you running him like two? Since it says I can only summon Dark Monsters. Yeah, if you want to. I run only one, but I have also more tight Exodec because I run the rank of magics and stuff like that. Oh, that's true. I got a lot of room, so. <laughs> Unless it's anything. And of course, some more dark rank fours, of course. Ooh, what are more dark rank? I don't even know more dark rank fours. Uh, Carl Corrigan, and he was from Tanatas. Tanatas. Yeah, that one. Master Key Beetle? If I want to, uh, it's definitely a possibility. Gorgon. And I think that's enough. <laughs> Alright, now some threes. Do yep. the threes have to be dark as well? I know, it doesn't have to be. Alucard. Mm. On top. <laughs> Uh, ten names. The older in face. Of course, Dante. It's yeah. pretty good. In I swear to God, if I melt on the reverse, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> you can run Levian as well, I guess. Run any of the bigger rank three guys? Mm -hmm. The rest of it can pretty much be anything you want. Okay. Fuck it. Because you definitely have more space than me. When in doubt, just throw these two in there. Alright, so do you want to play it so you can show me how the deck is played? Or do you want to walk me through it? Mm. Well, it's not hard to play. I'm going to fuck it up. <laughs> because I can, I can only, play, only play my own version. I mean, it's, it's up to you. Is your deck on DN? Yes, it is. Alright, sure. Go ahead and do it. Show me how it's done. Okay, then save it. Oh, let's see, can I open the live stream on my phone? I think I can. If I can, then that would be convenient. I'm logged in on my phone now, so I have to... No. I guess I'm just going to do a random duel. Yeah, just don't tell me a random duel. Watch you get freaking... I have to... Infinity. I'm hosting if anyone wants to come. Going to get wrecked, I guess, probably. <laughs> You're going to get wrecked by Demetrius. Probably going to run a, a try hard deck. So, I, don't I, even know I, I, I don't even know if I can get to my own live stream on my own phone. 
Mm, definitely not a bad hand. Pretty good. I was just going to set something. Well, in that case, how? How do I get to my own things? <laughs> I don't know how to do it on my phone. <laughs> well, <that's... laughs> so bad. So, you summon him, and then if you control Fed High Monster, you could special summon? Yeah, the uh, Cyan Boots. Summon Cloak, special summon Boots, XE, pop yourself, pop his monster, then those two will come back as rank 4. Now let's summon else. That's what's okay, Lolo. Yeah, Demetrius always loved him, some more else. But people are telling me, like, Daniel, this is how you do it, but I can't freaking go on my phone, and my laptop is dead, so unless I interrupt the stream and go off my own screen, I can't tell if you guys are telling me anything. <laughs> That's pretty sad. <laughs> of course, they're going slow. <laughs> At least I do have the notice. Or the swarm strike, like it's now called. Fine for it, it wasn't knocking. Yeah. It's <laughs> all so knocking, it sounds stupid. Yeah, it does. I don't even. I don't even log out of my phone. Oh, there we go. I'll just go to the desktop instead of using my app. That works. I'm actually on the actual YouTube desktop. Much better. Mm -hmm. What I should Dixie hint? I'm not sure. I guess why not talk about it then? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna get it, people. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so what should I do now? I guess for now I should leave it like leave it like that. The next turn to something. I think it's probably from your mic because when you talk, weird sound stops. A weird sound is uh is oh my gosh. Yeah, it's from me. Unfortunately, I had to put my cable back in. Mm-hmm. What? No. There's no need for moderators. I mean, really, what's happening? I'm still not even sure why that uh, sound even comes, like... Add in Black Ship of Corn. Black Ship of Corn. <laughs> yeah, Black Ship of Corn. It's been a cool minute since that card has been useful. What? Brilliant Fusion in Metamels? Wow. Okay. This is the one. I, don't I think even know there's one fusion that requires aqua monster, but. Okay, I got the chat open up on my phone now. I got it. 
Okay, good. Mm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. The place. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Not at all. <laughs> Yeah, it activates on the scent from the from the field to the graveyard, but still, like I didn't even know it worked like that. I didn't even know they had a water esque one. Yeah, keep in mind field to the graveyard, so don't think you can yeah. see and then detach either. What does she do? And get first into grave. Someone, someone, someone from, from the hand. Oh, okay. And who the fuck is this? Hello? You can try to remember how much you can do. Oh, that's not a number of level 4 levels. I mean, it's just got man up. I don't thinking. Know. I guess no point. In doing yep, there's anything. that Neptibus. I wonder how much Neptibus can be. Like 30 bucks? I need to talk like that. But you can still pay the cost and search something, so... Yep, so he's gonna go ahead and send Dragoons his cost. Then, effect is negated, then Dragoons get the search. The cost, man, the cost is still good. <laughs> yeah, hopefully really? I survive this turn. <laughs> <laughs> really bad Mermel attack, they got goddamn shots fired. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Hate that. Do uh, heavy infantry and stuff still go off? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah, kind of sucks, but well, mm. at least you had your. Uh, I still have resources, but you got your solemn strike. <laughs> Seems like a really odd Mermel deck. Yeah, that one seems like it. Mm hmm. Hmm, what does it do now? Yeah, like how you, do you have a way to handle this? I mean, it's not a too terrible situation. Yeah, not too bad. Just definitely think that Neptibus needs to die. <laughs> so but it's negated anyway. Oh, it's, it's always negated? Yes, it's like a finish chain. Can he keep sending Mermel for cost? Oh, they can't even attack it. Yeah, I think can still do that. I think. Yeah, so if he can keep sending more Lantians for cost, then that's not They can't even attack it. <laughs> oh my god, this is dual. <laughs> okay, so you banish the trap to summon your monster from the graveyard, then you banish your monster to get a search, right? Yep. So, rinse and repeat. But you only run one Dark Rebellion. No! <laughs> Another Dark Rebellion would be great. <laughs> you could play a more defensive Dark Monster like... Uh... My Stroke. <laughs> to start off with. In case you don't want to go too ham and you want to go more defensive like. Alright. In hands. I have rank up in my hand as well. Oh wow! So what you're gonna rank up into? I have no idea. Maybe this problem. 
Still gonna go into your uh, sword guy. Nope. Oh, someone different. Dante. Are you gonna recommend it, please? I have no idea who you're gonna rank up into. I know nothing about rank ups. Well, you know what? I don't think there's really any good other rank five light warriors. Okay, I didn't know what rank up card you had. <laughs> Master Force, of course. Uh, wait, yeah, hello? How many rank up cards? You didn't specify which one. Oh, uh, there goes all your cards. That <laughs> one. Yeah, not good, well, but it's fine. Wow. You haven't seen this play being done since Burning Abyss. <laughs> He's like, please. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> please, this is not my best friend. <laughs> I was just using him. <laughs> I wonder what that stat card is. Of another. Yeah, no idea. This here, because it seems like this deck always gets that card. <laughs> I guess we'll play this Tatomet just as well, but is there really any point? What, you can go into another XE monster? No, I think. Should I play this Tatomet just? What card? I'm a Gemini card. What, Pleiades effect? Yes, should I play this that? Uh, Why not? I mean, really, what's the threat? I guess no point. I mean, there's, no, there's no threat. Even if he does pitch a spell and gain the attack, there's no threat. Hmm. The only thing I'm worried about is that Neptibus, is because he can still send the Atlanteans for cost. So he can just yeah, like, send a. Uh, what, an infantry and then pop you. <laughs> so that's not fun. <laughs> Probably should have used the notice on <laughs> him. Yeah, <laughs> good thing I brought that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, let me go ahead and get this. <laughs> so, which one searches for cards? Boots? Yeah, Boots searches for special traps and uh, Dusty Rope searches for monsters. Oh, okay. Look at that. Look at that, that's fair. I said you should have killed the Neptibus. <laughs> yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, fuck, then, though, I'm negated, but I don't care, because I still get to send something. I mean, I can't kill it anyway, because uh, uh, I can't attack it, pretty much. What is that, what sword says? Yeah, fork blade says. Oh, yeah, target one pick much in the field, it's fucking gay, cannot attack, other monsters cannot attack it. Wow, so you're literally just gonna let it sit there and fucking... Wow. Yeah, you should've noticed that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, if you can draw into another monster, I can attack over Neptibase. You can go ahead and Attack into Amethyst, Amethyst will return all the spells and traps back to the hand, then kill the Neptibus. Oh, I thought it was another sphere. Yeah, at least get that card. <laughs> you okay with that or no? <laughs> Not sure. I guess it's fine. You could always detach and bounce it with Pleiades, and it wouldn't be on the field to resolve, so.
But you can always just bounce back a monster he summons, depending on what he summons. Yeah. Like I said, if you draw, depending on what you draw into, if you can draw into something tackle or not, you can attack, have Pleiades attack into the Amethyst. Amethyst will go off and return every all the back row, and then you can kill the Neptibus, then reset your Fog Blade. The only thing that would suck at that is that he would get his uh, Fusion back. After I know how many uh, Geminites he's running. Okay. Yeah, probably goes for ranks on, I think. Are they both seven? Yeah, he is seven. I would have left it alone. What, what, what could he have gone into? What, Draco Sack? Big guy? You could have bounced that. Yeah, but I think, uh, yeah. That was, that was Earth, so he couldn't go into Gaios, which I'm assuming that's what you were afraid of, right? Okay. Okay. So, back to spell, it's... Wait, I thought you couldn't activate spell cards if you activated Abyss here. Oh yeah, right? Oh, lost. Fucking cheater. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I think on the end. <laughs> it clearly says that you cannot activate any spell cards, you can activate a spell card. We these Dante's gay boyfriends fucked up. Why? Because he lays on top of him. You try Gradle clowns. Well, I don't like Gradles, and I don't like clowns. So, no. <laughs> Especially not here. Two is going to bounce my own full plate, and then I'm gonna attack into that atmosphere. Uh, Neptavis. Yeah, you could do that. What did you draw into? Armageddon Knight. I would summon Armageddon Knight and take, take them both out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I plan to do. Actually, I'm going to do something very funny. If I can. No, okay. No, actually, I can't because I don't have a stuff for us. I don't know what I should send. I don't think any level 4 really. I don't even know what the level 4 to do. I haven't really read the monsters. What does this guy do? Um, nothing in the graveyard currently. It can recycle your Mantonites. But what I plan to do is... Banish this to summon it. Wow, if you get something back there in the end phase. <laughs> so slow. He's running out of place. This is, this is going to be game soon. Yeah, I think so as well. Just stop taking. Yeah. Phantom Knights are pretty good at maintaining resources. Mm hmm. They're doing pretty decent in the uh, OCG. Yeah, but it's the pure. Rank free version, not the one that I'm running. <laughs> I've heard of baby, baby metal. One of my friends is like huge into that group. Oh really? It's not yeah. terrible band, but it's kind of too soft for me. Wow, too soft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's not him begging enough to break your neck, then Omega doesn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what should go into. I guess Tomato is not bad. Yeah. And then have the four plate as well to negate something. Mm. And Swalamonic as well, so I think it's game over. Oh, you, you have Hollow Morning? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's game. No, it's not fair. Well, um... <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, actually. Go, go, go all the way up to your screen, monster, and then get warning. <laughs> that Norden and freaking Mermel is ridiculous. So what do you have? 
Actually, you know, I would say if he doesn't quit, I'd actually activate the blade on freaking Norton because you don't want him to summon back uh, dragoons and then XC. <laughs> yeah, that dumb card. Yeah. How it does. yeah. All right. You want to I don't want to do it. We got oh, a we have the time for a rematch if you want to get a rematch in. Fuck you. Do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going I can do more one more then. Okay. No, I don't have a side deck though. <laughs> okay, I start. That seems fine. Keeps up with a lot of resources. I could probably do something with it. So, what are you gonna do? So wait, why'd they make wings if they already had sword and went sword first? Which wait, was the aura came out? Because I don't know, wings just it came out in the same set. That seems redundant. They're literally <laughs> the same card. Well, almost. But, <laughs> but you can chain uh, Phantom Wing to uh, Mystical Space Typhoon, for example. But uh, okay. but Phantom Swarm would get immediately destroyed. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, seems weird to me. I guess you just play less cards, so... Your monsters won't be destroyed by battle by card effect, and then you can exceed with them next turn. Yep. Alright, so, Sun Cloak, you can banish Cloak out of a Dim Knight card from your deck to your hand. Okay. Yep. Keep go get glass so you can lay your hands on him. <laughs> oh, not a terrible starting play, I guess. Mm. Huh. Wanna see maybe a tier one point five Zephyr build? What Zephyr build is tier 1.5. Uh, and of course, Nepto is like expected. Of course. I think I think you might be a little bit over exaggerating when you say tier 1.5 Zephyr build. There is no such thing. <laughs> yeah, for, uh, if you're talking about that. Especially uh, now because uh, they got hit like indirectly because Briona uh, put, got put to one and uh, Shatols got slaughtered as well. Mm -hmm. Like, are you talking about that Yang Zing Zephyr deck? Because that's more Yang Zing than anything. Yeah, that's like that. more Yang Zing. It's just. Uh, I guess I'll notice it. Uh, you should. Yeah, you can notice it. Unfortunately, I lost other card parts. Yep. I think I can do about that. Now he's going to proceed to OTK you. <laughs> yep. I think Neptune is probably like between 30 and $40. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure if anyone, anyone is even going to play that deck. I build Zephyr. Oh, Tower nothing? What? I will summon Necros of the Fiat. That's fucked up. <laughs> the power, I guess, that Netibus is seriously part of his plan, so it's dying. That he's, he didn't want to overextend anymore. I've been playing Zephyr and Zing that have been great. Yeah, enjoy it while you last, and then you're going to get striked, and then GG. <laughs> you, you put way too much in to be fucking striked. You run out of resources every time you sink or summon. You neg, so 
not only you're negging, but you're not going to get anything out of it because you're just going to get struck, strike, stroke, stricken. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, Max, I bought this iron hat. You can't send URLs. What? You can't put URLs in the in the chat. If you can't put them in the chat, hop on DN and message me the URL. As long as I find taxis, of course. Little jump scares. I can tell. Like, it'd probably just be like a deck or something. Hmm. <laughs> just say notice. <laughs> <laughs> Then what would be the past oh, tense of notice? I got I got solemn noticed. Noticed? I got noticed. Oh no, because solemn solemn notice is a is a noun, I guess, because you're describing card, not the the act of being noticed. Get that grammar lesson. That's a deck. Mm -hmm. Total, I guess. This is the tier 1.5 stuff for build. It's expensive. You got some of this. You got this. And you got this. <laughs> and this. <laughs> and one of these. Hmm. One of this. <laughs> mm. And you're running these guys. I saw this up here. Okay. Doesn't look bad on paper. I don't know enough about Zephyr's to really determine how good it is, but it doesn't look bad on paper. Yeah, I'd say better not. If you jump scare me, I'll punch you. <laughs> Even with people playing Strike, goddamn. That's not bad then. Yeah, it does. It really does. It looks more peepee. -pee. I mean, there's the perform mages, there's the pals, and then just a little, a little bit up here, a little bit up here. You got it. What's up with the one chicken game? Like, you really only do the chicken game thing if you're running carefully, which you're not, so this isn't really necessary. Like, unless you're absolutely sure you can get your zephyr, because you don't want to leave the chicken game there. You never have a chicken game on the field. Get rid of it ASAP. When I played, in, when I played Cleese, I was like, Play it, pay the light points, and then when I went to Helix, I was like, "Helix, pop my pop my chicken game." No, thank you. <sighs> I can do it fine. So. Damn. But actually, there was still not any point. So. Yep, because those st are still going to go off, right? Yeah. That's annoying. <laughs> Just completely bypassing everything that you do. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, he'll probably pitch to someone again. No, he's going to get his fucking one fucking Deep Sea Diva. <laughs> and here you go. Deep Sea Diva, summon Neptibus, Neptibus. Like, oh, my God. OCG had Neptibus. At, I mean, a Diva at, like, three, and then they put it back down to one. Like, good. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much game over at this point. Mm hmm. You're about to get shrekt. And that's why I didn't want to play again because I knew I was going to lose the second time. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of attitude is that? <laughs> no, man, I don't want to do you again, too. I'm going to lose. <laughs> Just happens, man. Because then we have to do a third one as well. <laughs> Chicken game is for ancient fairy dragon. I don't get it. Off the top of my mind. She's just another it's just another field spot, right? Or is it like something that you do with Chicken Game and Ancient Fairy? Like put something on top of your deck and then draw like, into it, I guess? I don't know. We have eight Zephyr cards, not like Zephyr Yang thing. Should I just scoop it up? Yeah. No, no, I'm finished. I'm finished. 
<laughs> now the question is, are you going to do game three? I you going to be like, no. <laughs> yeah, I guess if people wants to, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Why do I keep t I keep turning off my phone? It's such a habit. I'm supposed to keep it on so I can see the chat, but I think it's probably going to someone make all again, and then uh, yep, people that nipped up with uh, someone not an Atlantean. Well, obviously it's lol. I don't think even Atlanteans played played that. Yeah, that's game. Uh, that game. Yeah, pretty much. Um, like you with can them. use the effect twice in a turn. Oh yeah, can. It doesn't even matter at all. Wow. Well, then it's quite a problem. Yep. Yeah, it's game. Yep. Yeah. You can do that. You can map them just walk in. So, I know, I know Ancient Fairy destroyed the first spell and searched it for a felt spell, but I mean, I understand what's the point. Alright. That's great. We'll get a different door. Uh, I really can't end the stream without playing Super Vice. Got a little bit longer. I said, I'll go ahead and try it out. Go ahead and look at the deck again. Hand time monster is controlled by destroying a battle by card effect. You switch from this card from your hand. You bounce this card and then send one front of the night card. So I drop from your hand to your bird and then if you do draw a card. He's not that good, is he? <laughs> armor. Fragile armor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least Crack Town gets you something during the end phase, but I guess you run him, so uh, you special. I, I don't know uh, what you want Fragile. There's a play with um, uh, Fragile Armor as well. If you can summon it, if your Phantom Light gets destroyed. And with the combo with the rank 3, you can summon Ouroboros as well. But I'm not playing Ouroboros. <laughs> you didn't tell me to play him. Eh, fuck it. Let's just try it like this for now. I can make changes once I understand the deck more. Uh, you took out Dante for some reason. What I, I... I forgot what I took out. What I took out? I took out, took out Dante. Oh, I'm I not milling. I'm not milling. Well, you don't want to mill. I don't want to mill. That's good. Uh, gets more phantom to the graveyard and stuff. And your trap cards as well, yeah. Perk in the graveyard. I'm going. <laughs> well, I had trend. I, I, I hate random milling as well. But sometimes it's good. <sighs> Alright. I'll come at you with a deck that I really don't know how to play too well. Hopefully I can do fine with. It actually uh, requires some skill at least. Do you know what, does it like, like, like to go first or second? Um, second, I think. Okay. If you want to, yeah, use your rank freeze effect. Just throw your punch cards and stuff. No, he's gonna make me go first, alright. <laughs> okay. Yeah, pretty good hand. What am I supposed to do with these guys, though? Like, do I just wait? Seems like I just wait. Yeah, I guess. You can yeah. use a lot if you want. Uh, is there anybody I want to pitch? Uh, that is the right left or the one that you know. It's not something to too much currently. Or oh, the other one. Depends. What's better for you? I think this guy is better, isn't he? I think that. Yeah, but I still crack hand for now. Okay. 
terraforming. What it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Hopefully nothing too difficult. I just want to get a decent duel. Yeah, that chicken king combination, I guess. Yep. Okay, it plays thousand draw a card and replace it with a different hill spell so I don't get access to it. Makes sense. Yep. That way you even out on all your plays. Wow, is it an FTK deck call? Yeah, if I think it's chicken game if the game. It sure does look like freaking chicken game if the game. <laughs> Just playing a lot to make all cards, like Yeah. So wait. Did you really just come at me with chicken game FTK? <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, what yeah, you want a duel? <laughs> yeah, you want to you want to sit there and watch me fucking play with myself? Okay, well, actually, it's so. not actually the okay, case. I think it's, I think it's one of the things. Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, goddamn. No. No thought, some damage. I turn my job by battle. When this card destroys the points, that's my balance is a good attack to the hex card to make a second attack. So, yeah, I can't do any damage next turn. Mm -mm. Wow, Stardust is Spark? Lol. Hmm. <laughs> It's a very situational card, like, you have to activate it pretty much when you would be dead if the attack would go through. It's a very risky card, like, to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going all in first turn. Oh, he's going deep into the deck. God damn, he's already down to 23 cards. Holy crap. This card cannot be destroyed battle. That's annoying. I can destroy it with my uh, rank 3 guy, though. Yep. So, I can normal summon him, special summon him, and then go into my rank 3 guy, right? Yep. Come back as level fours. I can only exceed a dark monster. Yeah. Uh, like I thought, this is the best option currently. Who's the best option? Uh, Tartus. Him? Yep. Is his name? Oh, uh, could just someone malefic can run me over. I guess. Yeah, could someone malefic can run me over. Let's say, isn't his name Thanatos? I thought his name was Thanatos. Yes, it is Thanatos. Thanatos? No, hey, Thanatos. I don't know how exactly I to pronounce that. Thanatos. <laughs> I guess my stroke is actually the best idea, maybe, to for the fence or something. Yeah, I'm gonna my stroke. Is it. I, no, neither player takes damage this turn? Yes. But this is the cost of life points, so I still pay it. Do you want to destroy it or get the draw? I want to destroy it. <laughs> yeah, same. I always always <laughs> destroy it. So I'll find conscious next turn. No, 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 no. I want it gone. I think Charles, you and you. Huh? I could set the one reverse and ready myself for a play next turn. Okay, for right now though. As long as yep. he doesn't just fucking completely wreck me. So, <laughs> My stroke actually got an ending appearance. <laughs> He's like, hey guys, remember me? <laughs> I haven't played in like years. Yay. Oh, that card. 
and that's not bad. I really can't do anything against that. But thankfully, rank three can destroy that mother punk right at the end. Yep. These cards are going to use light one super on turn either player's graver and special summon it. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Malefic World is not on the field. Oh, yeah. You can't go on it. You can't do so much. It's not a field spell. It has to be specifically Malefic World. So you can go into another one of him. Oh, but Mountain of the Bound protects from being destroyed. Oh, well, yeah. Oh. Right. Wow, what's the combination? So dirty. <laughs> Fun. No, no. You have to destroy me and send me to a graveyard. Get the additional attack. I'm getting trekked. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What you still have plays. Mm -hmm. So, should I use either one of these guys? In I use the cloak to search for the. Actually, there's no need to do it actually right now. Because you do have the silent boots in your hand already. I already have what in my hand? Silent Boots. Okay, so just summon, summon, and do the exact same play again, except this time to show yourself. Yep, mm, yep pretty much. So this time, destroy the field spell. That's getting kind of annoying. <laughs> When this goes, this will go. Then, in fact, two monsters back. But there, but I had to go into a dark. I can go into dark rebellion and then throw the regeggia. Yeah, dark rebellion and throw it over, pretty much. It can't be destroyed by battle. Oh yeah, right. Well then, yeah, then you have to go for something else. I can go for you dark can, rebellion after I get it, I guess. Then. Yeah, I can't get it. Oh, I'm up to 45. <laughs> and then I regeki, attack, attack, and that's the game, because that's, what, 63? So, yep. come down to what that set card is. And I'm going to go ahead and regeki. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, there's no skill, there's no, there's no threat. If it was Dark Hole, then you'd have to consider, like, hmm, should I do yeah. it or not? But nah, fucking... Freaking Regeki just blam. Game? Or you got something? Wow, lol. What the wow. fuck? <laughs> wow, he actually fucking played it. <laughs> Hilarious. Yep. He actually fucking played it. So my attack's negated. He used to draw a card and summon a Stardust, and then. That's it, right? I can't read the clear on him. Uh, yeah, you can't because your, net, your attack was negated. Wow, that's that's inconvenient to say the least. Are there any of these guys that I want to activate this turn? Like maybe to uh, probably so I'm supposed to get the uh, a trap card, like a fork plate or something or something else you want. Can I use on this effect once per turn? You only once per turn, yeah. yeah. So do I want sword to block me or fog blade to? Well, what do you think is the best one? Probably thinking I I don't think he can get over forty five. So I'm thinking sword. I think he'll have some way of like destroying me by card effect or targeting me. Yeah. So I'll get sword. Is there anybody else in here that'll do anything? What do you do? 
And I just can't and, remember. Yeah, search for monsters. And yeah. uh, the other one sends something to, something to the graveyard. Well, you're pretty good. I can go ahead and banish you to get another boots. Yep, that's a good idea. And that's going to be the last one. Again, I'll just you know, rinse and repeat, do it again. <laughs> Deck thinning. And then that's it. You don't do anything. You just give him a thousand, um, but it was him. Yeah, sense to the graveyard something if you banish it. What? Uh, it sends, if you banish it, it sends a phantom like card or a spell trap to the, or phantom spell trap to the graveyard. Oh. Okay. okay. Do I need to do that or no? No, right now there is not really any need to do that, I think. Wow, I can't believe fucking. <laughs> I can't believe I got fucking Stardust Resparked. Like, what the fuck is that? Too good. Of course, another one spawn creature. Yep. That's a pretty dangerous situation. Yep. You know, I could just do the same play over again. <sighs> but Stardust is on the <laughs> Lol. Actually, you, you used that card as well. Wow. Okay. Yep. At least can't run over Dark Rebellion, but that burn is pretty problematic. problematic. Mm hmm. During your starting phase, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, becomes half its current attack. God, that sucks. So I can't get rid of this and deal with Mind of the Bound next time. I think I, I think he might have won because the fucking Stardust resparking to block my final attack. Yeah. Wow, that's actually <laughs> kind of annoying. I'm gonna take a thousand. If you can't get rid of it next turn, you're pretty much screwed. No, nope. and I don't think I can either. Like, wow, I actually got fucking, we were just talking shit about that fucking card. Like, fucking, as far as we're fucking, that card sucks, and he actually is going to win. <laughs> wow, that's actually annoying. And the starters can block me from, block, from killing the fucking Mountain of the Bound. That's, oh my god. Uh, you have to bring my Sonic Dover, the battle phase, and then to it, but mm -hmm. by then it's already too late. Yep. So annoying. Because next turn he'll just cut me in half. And burn burn you for to death. And I only have one more of him left. All right. Attack over the Stardust. In base to summon, summon, XC, pop. Those two will summon back. I can go into Dark Rebellion again, cut him half again, he'll go down to 2,000, I'll gain that. And I'll have two monsters at 45, and he'll, all he'll have is him, and he can only target one of my monsters and cut him in half. Does it doesn't even, doesn't even matter. It still burns for a game. What burns for a game? The Trichocytus, the force on attack one. It does? Yeah, read the whole thing. I want to get control, it's kind of coming to half, and click him. And for damage, you're going, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I don't think I can handle I, I can't take out Mandy down and handle him. Because he can't be destroyed by battle, of course. 4,000 monster can't be destroyed by battle. Thanks, fucking Konami. Thank you. Why the fuck <laughs> did you make it fucking four? Why does it make any goddamn sense? Konami is 4,000. Who the fuck is destroying it by battle? Oh, I hate well, you, Konami. This situation. <laughs> I hate you. So fucking much, Konami. Oh my god. Ah, yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't take out the fucking mountain of the bound and take him out. So yeah, I lost the fucking the blocking of free sparking. That's really annoying. Wow, that's actually depressing. Oh, well, you made this. Wow. All because of the fucking burn. Just because of the burn. Yeah, pretty much. God, I hate burning Yu-Gi-Oh. 
can't get around it. I have nothing. I had nothing to do with the Mothics. <laughs> Should've won this duel. Should've won this fucking duel. I should've won! No! Fucking re-sparking! Oh my god, fuck you, re-spark. You can eat a dick. Oh my <laughs> god, I hate you right now. I hate that card so much right now. It's fucking garbage, yet it beats me. Well, I won't call it garbage, but it's a very situational. No, it's garbage. Deal. In this instance, it's <laughs> fucking garbage because it made me lose a fucking duel over stupid shit. Of course, the one tech card, you know, respark. Of course, so <laughs> annoying. And he just completely comes back and then fucking games me. Like, what the fuck? Like, how the fuck does that work? Yeah, I got nothing. I can summon you. Summon you. Maybe I might be able to do something. Maybe I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try because can I negate him with uh with my fog blade? Yes, but you don't have it currently. I can get it with boots, right? Yes, you can. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but that's definitely a good idea. But yeah, of course, not yeah. giving up. Not giving fucking up. Fuck. Kill you. In phase two. I want summon you. Special summon you. XC into you one more time. Oh my god. So fucking annoying. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and detach again itself. And round. Back. You two back. Not losing to some fucking movie villain. I'm motherfucking Utah right now. No. You can go. I guess it's on keep you in defense mode. Just in case. What's with me on Skype? I got this! I got this, nigga. Fuck you now. <laughs> Shit. I got well, this. Actually, you know what? I should have went to fucking Dark Rebellion and cut him in half. No. No. No, no I got this. I got this. I shouldn't have went in Master Key Beetle, though. I should have went to another Dark Rebellion. It's cool, though. Then I can go ahead and use boots. Got this. Give me fog. If you ran Uroporos, then you could have bounced the, the level 10 synchro. If, the, if you use the rank 3 combat, then someone fresh around from the hand. Because mm. Phantom Knight was destroyed. Yep. <sighs> Got this. I'm still okay. I just can't have him fucking top decking like a son of a bitch. And I'm all out of fucking my awesome break. Yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I wish I could run more. Yeah, I, I actually only run two of the rank three. How, man? So <laughs> good! <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to activate the effect. Isn't yeah. it mana? Sorry? It's it. No, it's, 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 I see it's not. Okay, yeah, well, then that makes sense. I guess it doesn't even know what the effect. What the fuck? <laughs> it's totally well, the draw. I haven't drawn a single dark graph in this entire duel. Just fucking you, Vals. Like, thank you. Still got like nothing. You yeah, don't have any uh, four phantom match in the graveyard. Maybe 
Maybe I should. I should have went into another Dark Rebellion because that would that would be much better. Yeah, possibly. Uh, excuse me. Put myself with the sword, then I would go up to fifty-two. So I'd be twelve. I could just keep attacking him, but I assume that he's gonna eventually turn into defense mode. I have no way of getting rid of it right now. I would literally uh, have to negate with uh, fork plate, then you can't attack that monster anymore. Yeah. Until okay. you destroy your own fork plate or something. Yep. And that's from one problem with this card. It's not as good as finish chain, but it's a good because it's searchable. I think you ran out of your rank freeze as well. Yep. That destroy your own oh, heart. Go ahead. The key knows that I have my fog blade, so that's why it doesn't want to activate the fact that it's optional. Alright, so I guess he's skipping his standby phase. And I guess he's gonna go ahead and get himself another fucking mound of balance, because I think that's only two. That's yeah, two. So annoying. Yeah, it's not good. It's not so, <laughs> so annoying. And now he has mount of bound, and now I can't fucking target him, and then he'll just burn me for game next turn. Yeah. You can't let your keeper to die because you have to destroy a dark rebellion pretty much instead of that because otherwise you get burned for yep. game with yep. one punk. Wow, all right, that's <laughs> annoying. Yeah, he got it. He got it. Wow, that's so annoying. I, I, I fucked up. I should have won the dark rebellion. I fucked up. Yep. Fucked up. I thought I was being cute, but nope, I fucked up. Deck's not bad. It's just I'm not drawing into fucking anything. Like I'm just drawing into U Bell, so once again, like with U Bell and every other fucking shit just makes everything worse. Huh. <sighs> U Bell would have been fucking great, especially in this duel. U Bell would have been fucking just beautiful. He's playing Mound of the Bound for me. Like Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. I can't believe I fucking lost because of that shit. I had that duel. So annoying. Yep, happens. I hate you, yo. <laughs> and <laughs> so fucking bullshit. <laughs> All right, people, I'm in the stream. So anyway, I will be back next Saturday. So I'm still not sure how I feel about these two-hour-long streams. It, it gets kind of boring near the end. I'm not sure if I'll keep it two hours. I'll probably keep streams every Saturday, but I'm not sure if it'll be every two hours. I might drop it down to one. I'm still debating on that. Well, one hour is is. A can end so fast. You can That's even do one duel in one hour sometimes. Right, so I'll decide. But I'm not going to try to struggle for two. I'm not going to try to drag it out, so I'll decide. Anyway, I'm going to end it. So, thank you, Omega, for joining me. And no problem. Glad to join as always. Link in the description, so you can go ahead and go to Omega's channel and hit that subscribe button and watch all their content. So, uh, yeah, see you guys next Saturday.